Hi, I'm Brian Spitz, president of Big State Home Buyers. We're Houston's leading company to call if you want to sell your house fast. Today, I want to tell you a little bit about foreclosures. There's some little known facts and things that, you know, people are afraid to do research, afraid to address the situation if they're getting behind on payments. So I just want to cover a couple of things that you might not know about foreclosures and the foreclosure process. So first, let's start with the bank. Loan modifications. A lot of banks will ask you if you're interested in a loan modification where they look to see if they can recast your loan, take some of the back payments, put them on the end, extend the interest or extend the years of the loan and then keep you in your house in a new payment plan. Unfortunately, this can take months and months and the banks go back and forth asking for more information and in the meanwhile, a lot of times you haven't made mortgage payments uh, while they're trying to assess whether or not they can do the modification. So if they don't approve it at the very end, you could be six or nine months behind on your mortgage where in the beginning you might have just been a little bit behind. Uh, second option can be short sales and short sales can actually work really well. So a lot of times people think about short sales, stealing, you know, all the equity, you know, telling the bank you can only pay half price for the house. But in reality, the bank doesn't want your house. So they'll help you work with a short sales specialist, a real estate agent or a company that can help put your property on the market get as much as possible for it, and then the bank will sometimes allow you to sell for that price. So you may not cover all of the uh, principal balance on your mortgage, but you will be able to get a release so the house can be sold to prevent the foreclosure. Last thing is you'll get a lot of letters from bankruptcy attorneys, and the bankruptcy system will stop a foreclosure for you, but you have to be able to make the payments for the bankruptcy throughout the term of the bankruptcy. And a lot of times it's a very short term solution because if you're not able to keep up with the bankruptcy payments, then the mortgage company will petition the court to release the home from your bankruptcy and then they foreclose on it. So many times uh, consumers will end up with both a foreclosure and a bankruptcy on their credit report. So unless that's really the best option and you're really able to take over and really start making those bankruptcy payments and mortgage payments again, that can actually make your entire uh, situation worse. The second item is that most people don't realize that the foreclosure doesn't actually wipe out all of your debt. So your primary lien holder is actually the taxing authorities. So you have to have the taxes paid first, which is why if you're behind on taxes, the bank will actually pay last year's taxes for you to protect their position. The primary mortgage holder, this uh, Bank of America or Wells Fargo, whoever has the largest mortgage on the property that's filed first, they're going to be the first ones to file for foreclosure. So they'll make sure taxes and insurance are current to protect their asset. And then if they foreclose, they're the ones that get paid first. Uh, there's junior liens, there's homeowners association liens, there's other uh, subsequent things on title that could be due but if the primary lender doesn't get paid in full, or if there's only enough funds to cover them, then those other loans uh, may not be paid off. If there's not enough money to pay off the first lien when it's all said and done, then sometimes if debt is forgiven, they can send you a 1099 and you'll owe taxes for the amount of debt that was forgiven. Same goes with short sales, although that doesn't happen very often. Another thing that's really important to keep in mind throughout the whole process is the bank they don't want your house. A bank is not in the business of buying and selling real estate. They're in the business of lending money. And in order for them to hire attorneys to do the foreclosure, to hire a real estate agent to sell the house, to have the house cleaned out, to maintain utilities, taxes, and insurance all the time after they foreclosed on it, that's very costly for large institutions. They're equipped to do it, but it's a last resort for them, just like the foreclosure is a last resort for you. A lot of times a bank will offer cash for keys, which is a program that's developed in the last few years so that the bank will offer you money as the occupant of the house to move out, leave the house in good condition, leave the appliances, and they'll actually pay you up to 1% of the value of the home just to go ahead and move out and make it easier. The reason you want to explore an option like this, number one, is because it keeps the foreclosure from going on your credit report, but also because it gives you the opportunity to get some money to start over, and because all of the fees associated with doing the foreclosure, hiring the attorneys, any fee that the bank incurs, they charge a lot of money for that and they tack that onto the balance of your loan. So if you owed $100,000 on your property, it went to foreclosure and the bank spent $12,000 in order to do the foreclosure and all of that stuff, 
that will add that to your balance. And that goes back to whether or not your entire debt gets paid off. So that could be a portion of the debt that you didn't originally borrow, but you're now responsible for. The sooner you take action once you realize you're getting behind on payments, the better. Or if you see yourself getting behind on payments from a job loss or you just know that you're gonna have trouble coming, then it's good to talk to your lender and try to work through that stuff because it goes back again to the bank. They don't want to own your house. So they're gonna try really hard to keep you in there, but there's a process that happens. So once you're 90 days behind on your loan, at that time, you're in default of the note. That's the time that your loan is handed off to attorneys where they start the collection process, they accelerate the loan, and that's where those fees really start adding up. And so once it gets to that point, and it gets further and further down the line, you're eligible to be served with foreclosure notice. And in Texas, they have to give you 21 days notice. So uh, the very soonest you could be foreclosed on is four months after you missed the payment, first payment. Um, however, once it starts getting into the attorney's hands, the fees go up and you're negotiating now with debt collectors rather than the primary mortgage company. Always better to try to work it out with your mortgage company. Uh, you want to avoid getting a foreclosure on your credit. The problem is, is a lot of times we get embarrassed about the financial problems, embarrassed about job loss, really concerned about you know wanting to protect your home or wanting to preserve it or thinking there's a way that you're going to be able to fix it. And while sometimes that's true, the more time you let go by without talking to your lender, the more chance you have of losing it to foreclosure. A lot of people will find calling companies like ours, big state home buyers, a really good way to find information on what to do to prevent the foreclosure or to sell their property with avoiding bankruptcy. Or you can talk to a real estate agent or read up online about what to do. But the most important thing you can do is constantly communicate. Communicate with your lender, communicate with your agent, communicate with your family, and really figure out what to expect and what's the best solution because foreclosure and bankruptcies, they stay on your credit for seven years. They make it very difficult for you to buy new property uh, and a lot can happen in those years. So you really can turn your life around and get into a much better position, but something like a foreclosure or bankruptcy would stand in your way. So over communicate, over plan, look at the worst case scenario, and then call companies like big state home buyers or any other resources to try to find the best solution for you.